Well, I'm out here working the bees today and I thought I would show you these girls are already putting nectar in the box. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Let's try to move a couple of these bees. Hello, ladies. Look at that. Fantastic. Wow. It's going to be a good year. If we don't get a freeze, but if we don't get a freeze, it's going to be a good year. Hey, bug farmers. Welcome to Bug Farmer Beekeeping, where we dive into the world of apiculture, beekeeping, and bees every week. This is the place to share laughs, explore bees, and learn together, all without taking ourselves too seriously. To join our buzzing community, it's easy and it's free. Just hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, and let's cultivate beekeeping knowledge and fun together. Now, let's get into the bees. Look at this, everybody. Holy moly. Spring has officially sprung in Georgia. And let me tell you something. If this is bee heaven, and what is this? Holy moly. This must be bee nirvana. Let me tell you, fellas and fellettes, these girls are out working these trees. And we've got peach trees just now starting to punch out. As far as the eye can see, we've also got dandelion, whatever these little purple flowers are. And I even saw a couple of clover starting to punch out. So these girls are in heaven. I don't know whether you can hear it on the camera or not, but I can hear the bees in the trees. They're actually hard to pick up on camera because I can't seem to point the lens exa exactly on a bee before the bee flies away, but they're out here and they're working it. So there you go and there you have it. What a great day to be a bee. I can tell you this, these trees are just now starting to punch out. They've got a ways to go yet. And once they're in full bloom, these bees are going to be loving it. Holy moly. Anyways, let's uh, let's zip back there, check on the uh, Demeray splits, and make sure those are going okay. But I can tell you what, fellas and fellettes, the flow is on. It is flow time. All right, so I'm going to do the very best that I can today without a frame hanger. I forgot it, I left it at home. I have two of them. I usually keep one in the truck, but for some reason I, I took them both out. Now I have none. Here at the bee yard so i'm going to go through the top two boxes and then i'm going to look really really quickly into the bottom box of every one of these hives that have a demeray split and i'm going to be looking for queen cells it's been a week since i've been out here so it's been seven days since this has happened to them and if they have a queen cell i'll probably take it and put it in one of these hives that do not have a queen and see what happens other than that i'm probably going to be destroying them which is not going to make the bees very happy now, one more thing to realize, we're not going to show you me going through every single one of these hives, but I am going to show you when I go through hive 17, because the last time I was out here, those girls were where, a little rambunctious. They were, well, they were a lot rambunctious. They were all over me. I mean, the minute I opened the, the hive, banana was all over me, top to bottom, bees were chasing me all the way down to the truck. It was not very good. Um, so I am going to put on the full bee suit before I get into hive number 17. It's a hot hive but I'm going to let it stay. I'm not going to replace the queen. I'm just going to see what kind of what kind of nectar poundage they bring in. So there you go. Let's, uh, let's start with this one. Again, we're only looking for queen cells and we're going to check the bottom to make sure she's laying and that she hasn't made a queen cell down there. That's the goal. We're not checking for stores or anything like that. Just in, out, wham, bam. Oh, one other thing. These hives, since you saw them last time, I have put a shim with an upper entrance on every single one of the hives that I've done the Demeray split on. That way the drones could get out of the box and when these girls hatch out and they're ready to start bringing in the goods, they don't have to go through the brood chamber in order to get up here and start storing the, uh, the nectar. Hello girls, we do have bees. We do have bees. Let's uh, have a quick look this top level again we're just looking for queen cells that's all i want i'm not really worried whether the brood is hatching or not Ooh, i just don't want there to be oh man this is a this is a tough box oh okay there is some hatching brood right there i've just angered a lot of bees okay we have a lot of drone brood on this frame a ton of it okay more drone brood, but no queen cell. That is good. And again, that drone brood is the reason why I put the upper entrance on these hives. 
I didn't want them getting stuck in here. Okay, we have nectar. So what do you think of that flow? It has started with a vengeance here in my part of Georgia. Now, I don't want to get too cocky because last year, if you remember, if you were following the channel, we had a beautiful warm spring and then midway through March, we had like a two week super freeze where the temps actually dropped. Okay, there's a teacup and it has not got anything in it, but we're gonna go ahead and smash it anyways going to be destroying all teacups all queen cells except ones that I'm going to be using and that's it anyways last year we were having gangbuster flow it was just killing it and all of a sudden the freeze came in and wiped out the entire season which was not fun these girls I don't know whether you can see that or not I don't have the camera zoomed in a lot but uh, these girls are bringing in a lot of nectar and it's got to be I mean it's got to be from those uh, those peach trees and the strawberries and the blueberries that are about to punch out and the clover that I saw out there. Holy moly. Okay. A lot of nectar. Check this last one that will pull this box and go down one more. Okay. We have a queen cell. Well, teacup. It's not charged. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. I've got some guards not liking me right now. But that's okay, it's gotta be done, ladies. I know that there's nothing on this frame. These are just empties. Pull that out. These are the frames that were, well, these are the frames that were down to the bottom. We're probably gonna have some, some brood there. Okay, there's a queen cell right there, right on the face of the frame. They're making one. It is capped. I'm going to go ahead and remove it as it is. And we're gonna go ahead and pick it off. Oh. I wasn't going to do it where I could save it, but I can't save it. There we go. Sorry, ladies. You don't need a queen. You've got one downstairs. Oh, we have another. We have queen cells all over this one. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this entire frame with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine queen cells on this frame. We've got nine queen cells on this frame. There, and two more here. I'm going to give this entire frame to hive number 11 here. All right, there you go. Now, if hive number 11 cannot make a queen with that, they're in bad shape. All right, what do we have here? All right, we have no more queen cells. Excellent. Solid frame of honey. You girls don't worry about queens. You got a queen. She's down in the bottom. You just worry about bringing in the goods. You bring in the goods, I'll worry about the queen. All right. And big Zilcherino. Excellent. All right, we're going down. Just go have a quick look. Really quick. So I got a comment from somebody, several people have made the Beetle Sucker 5000 and someone told me a good way to dispose of the beetles, that way I don't get zombie beetles, and that is to put the entire canister in the freezer when you get home and it will wipe them out. Well I did, and it does. So now when I'm done using the Beetle Sucker 5000, I'm just going to put the canister into the, uh, into the freezer and there you go, we'll make quick work. Of the beetles. All right, let's see here. Do we have a queen? Oh, they are drawing this out already. Look at that. They're on it. That's what I wanted to see, ladies. Everybody's doing wax works. Beautiful. Let's just make sure that we don't have a queen. Building a queen cell down here. That would be the worst thing that could be happening. Okay. That is a full frame of brood. Do not see a queen cell. Fantastic. Full frame of brood on this side as well. Fantastic. Let's just make sure we don't have a queen cell happening. Nope. Okay. All right, ladies. That is beautiful. 
So let me tell you, the Hive Alive pollen patties, it, it looks like they've, they've reconstituted just fine, and it looks like the bees are loving them. So there you go. Maybe I was overreacting last week when I got the stiff ones. I still think that, uh, that they should be shipped in cellophane or plastic or foil or something. But the bees are eating them, and they are a lot moister now that they uh, have been in a humid hive. That is another full frame of brood. Wow. Okay, no queen cell, but the queen does not have any place to lay. I'll tell you that right now. She does not have a place to lay. Oh, and wow, just bees festooning everywhere. They are all doing wax works and cleaning cells. Wow. Here's our queen excluder. All right. I've removed all the queen cells from this hive. So I will do this again next weekend just to make sure they don't they don't they don't find a way to make another one up there. Maybe they have an egg they can still try to make a queen cell with. We don't want that to happen. But this hive is exactly what I want to see. The bees down on the bottom, they're drawing wax and festooning on empty frames, drawing them out, which is good. Did not find the queen. I know she's down there. These girls are all hatching out. The drones can get in and out right here. Everything is, is right with the world. All right, second verse, same as the first. All we're going to do is look for queen cells. And on this hive, if we find queen cells, we're going to move them to hive number six. All right, what do we have here? Okay, this is a brood frame. We have, uh, we have a lot of brood. It looks like they started to try to make some queen cells up here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. Those are teacups. Smash, smash, smash. Those are gone. And the other side, we have another teacup. And it is loaded. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And that, all right, next frame. It's a weird sensation to be smashing queen cells and cutting them out when it's, uh, when it's spring and I haven't done splits. Well, I guess, I guess this is a split that we've done here. Okay, this is a brood frame. We're gonna have queen cells. There's a queen cell on this one, okay. Oh, we have several of them here on this side. And then uh, another one down at the bottom on this side. So we've got one capped, three charged on this side. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to let them keep their bees. I am going to take this queen cell. Okay, this is a capped queen cell. That is going over to the other hive. That one's getting whacked, that one's getting whacked. There's one down here at the bottom that they're building. I'm going to whack that. Yep, that was fully charged. Gone. I know, worst thing ever. One up there. Okay, on this side we have one teacup up here, got another bee and it's charged. Not anymore. We have another queen cell down here. Go ahead and pull it out. Okay. That is it. For this frame. Let me take this queen cell over to hive number 11, or excuse me, hive number six. What do we have going on in here? I have a girls all over a frame. Oh, and a hive beetle. Oh, you got the old phalange. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's what you get. You're in the wrong hive, dude. You are in the wrong hive. Excellent. Huh. 
All right, well, you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and go through the rest of the apiary and I will see you in my full bee suit at hive number 17. All right, so first, let me, let me catch you up. I'm in my full regalia here. Uh, this was actually uh, given to me by Flo when I bought my, uh, my Flo hives. Anyways, let me bring you up to speed. I've been through every hive in the apiary. I've removed a ton of queen cells. Again, when you do a Demeray split, from what I understand and from what I've, I've experienced today, after seven days, you have to come back and, and start removing queen cells from all the brood that you put in the top boxes or the top couple of boxes. And then I have to come back in another week and check it again. Now, I've also checked the bottom box of every single hive to look for a queen cell down there and to check on the queen to make sure she had room to lay and that the girls were drawing out the, the frames down there. Well, they are, and everything is good and right with the world. Now, now the reason I'm in this full suit is because the last time I was here, going through this hive, doing the Demeray split on it, my buddy Brady got a sting right in the elbow. And I thought, oh, man, he, he's the only one who got a sting today. Well, I came back on... Tuesday because Monday I made all these uh, upper entrances I came back on Tuesday to place an upper entrance on all the hives and when I took this hive apart these girls attacked and I may have it I mean it, uh, my my trail camera is right there I may have it on trail camera I'll take that memory stick before I leave and we'll see if I can find those girls getting all over me but I tell you what they were all over me now I didn't get any complete stings i felt where they were putting their little their needles in me all over the place down on my legs i was wearing jeans and that's why i decided today i'm going with the full suit because this hive is hot it's a hot one and i'm going to leave it a hot one because i'm going to see whether a hot hive produces more honey than a than a cool hive so so there you go let's uh let's get into it and, and hopefully we don't set off the stingometer all right here we go hello girls hello coming in coming in Want to take a look around real fast? Coming in. Give you a little bit more smoke up here. I can tell you, I'm really not in the mood to go through this hive. It's getting overcast. It looks like it's going to rain. But I've got to do what I've got to do. Okay, I can already smell the banana. They're putting it on me. I mean, they're, they're flying by and they're spraying it in my face. Come on, girls. I'm here to help. I'm your helper. I've also got honey coming into these hives. There's, there's, there's nectar coming into all the hives. It's fantastic. I took a little video. I put it on Instagram. I will cut it in right here in case you don't follow me on Instagram. That way you can see it. But uh, the girls are bringing in the goods. Already. The flow's only been going for two weeks. But I'm in a nectar-rich environment here so I can uh, understand where they're getting it. Again, my only goal here is to find queen cells. Find and destroy. I've made sure that my hives that don't have queens have about 10 queen cells apiece in them. So there's going to be a battle royale inside those hives once the uh, queens hatch. All right, what do we have here? Nothing yet. A lot of drones. They're flying. Now, as soon as I see something interesting, I promise I'll show you. Right, that is a drone cell on there. I'm going to go ahead and remove it because it looks too much like a queen cell. All right. So far, we have a lot of nurse bees up here still. They're taking care of the brood that was left behind. And that's the plan. That's what uh, keeps the bees separated. All right. That is just honey and a little bit of uh, brood. Okay, I think that this top box is going to be clear. No queen cells, which means we're going to find them right here. If there's any brood. I don't recall because I got in and got out. I didn't uh, didn't even look last time. We made sure the queen was on the bottom and, and left this hive. But I can tell you, I can tell you what, you can see these bees. They're all over me. They're all over me. All right. Let's go down one. Come on, girls. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. And this, this, I hate this thing. It always wants to go back and get on my face. 
I don't want to get stung on the face. And stay away from there. Stay away. How do they know where to get in? That's what I want to know. How in the world do they know? All right, nothing there. This is where I think I'm going to find some brood. If there's any brood that has been turned into queen cells, it's going to be in these frames right here. All right, there's nothing happening there. They're gathering honey. Here is a brood frame that was brought up from the queen on the bottom seven days ago. Let's see. Now we're shake the bees off. All right, nothing happening there. And nothing happening there. Just fix the camera angle so that you can see. All right, let's shake these off. And we have a queen cell there and two on the back. Two on the front and two on the back. They're all charged. Let's go ahead and whack that. Hey, B, get off my face. She's right in my face. Spraying the, spraying the banana. Of course, right now my smoker is running out of fuel. I should have checked that before I got in this hive. All right, there's a charged queen cell. There's another one. We go ahead and remove those. All right, go get some smoker fuel. All right, ran out of pine needles, so I had to go with uh, with pine chips, chicken litter. Okay, don't worry, it's clean chicken litter. It doesn't have the the chicken poo in it. All right, let's have a look. And we have no queen cell there, and no queen cell there. Fantastic. These are just hatching out. off of that one have a look nothing happening there nothing happening there okay the next one is the coup de gras i can see a lot of queen cells on it let's see what they're doing here okay we have two queen cells here those. one two now we've got one two three four five six on the back, we're going to go ahead and kill those. All right. That is not endearing me to these bees. Now they're really mad. You kill our queen! Okay, nothing happening there. The last frame is brand new. Let's go down. Let's see if we can really get these bees angry. Holy moly. These bees are on me. You don't want to sting me. Maybe I can use the force with them. You don't want to sting me. Don't sting the bug farmer. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. I am wearing a back brace today too. Underneath this bee suit because this is tough on the back. Oh, they're angry. Oh, they're angry. Oh, the banana. Don't put that on my face. What are you doing? They're just lighting me up with banana popsicles. I mean, it smells good. I don't know, maybe I should replace this queen. These girls are not happy bees. Be happy, ladies, be happy. Be happy. Don't sting me. Okay, there's nothing here. These are empty boxes, as per the Demeray method. And this is where the queen is, and those are all new frames with the exception of three. I'm going to leave them alone and get out of here because I got banana all over me. I mean, that's all I smell. I wish we had smell o vision here. You'd know what I was talking about. Holy moly, get off my face. They're right on my face. Spraying the banana right on my face. Come on. Don't do it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, this hive, I think I am going to replace the queen. These bees are mean. 
Just downright ornery. Holy moly. All right. Here you go. I gotta be careful moving around because this fencing mask keeps wanting to get up against my face and I've got bees right there trying to sting my nose. Get away. All right. And I don't want to get stung in the nose. There you go. Okay, so now I've got a bunch of angry bees around me and I've got to go somewhere and we're going to say goodbye. So I guess I'll have to walk to the other end of the field before I can even get in the truck. Man, I'm over at the truck and these girls are still on me. Holy moly. And they're attacking the dead cat on my microphone. Okay, we're going to go around to the front of the truck because I just can't get away from these bees. Okay, go on. We're going forward. We're going up here. All right, well, there you go. The end of another adventure. Now, I tell you what, I had to move about 100 yards away from hive number 17. It's up there behind my truck because they kept sending out guards and they were landing on my face mask and shooting the banana on me while I was trying to say goodbye. I started out behind the truck, then in front of the truck, and then way down here, but they finally left me alone for the most part. Anyways, we started out this video walking through the peach orchards, and let me tell you, those peach trees are about, they're about halfway done punching out, then they're going to be sitting there blooming for a while, so it's going to be fantastic. I also saw clover, dandelion, blueberries punching out, strawberries punching out, little purple flowers everywhere. The flow is on in my part of Georgia, and I'm very, very happy for these bees. Now, if things keep going the way that they're going, I'm not going to try to jinx it. I don't want to say we're going to have a great year, but as long as we don't get a freeze like we got in March of last year, I think everything is going to be a lot different this year than it was last year. So I've got my fingers crossed for that. As for the Demaray splits, I went through every single brood box that I had above the queen excluder, and I've probably removed about 60 queen cells today. Um, I also managed to give 10 queen cells to the Enigma hive in, in hive number 11, and hive number 6, it was also queenless. Gave them about 10 queen cells so as soon as those things hatch out it's going to be the battle royale other than that i am seeing nectar coming into these boxes as well as some pollen so everything is right with the world so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did do me a favor give me a thumbs up if you have something to say by all means please comment and if you have not subscribed to the channel do me a favor take a moment hit the subscribe button ring the bell to be notified of my new content i do try to drop a video every friday we try to keep it light and have fun so with all that said be happy and i will see you next week take care now I've got to go get the trail cam footage out from right in front of hive number 17 and start the bees swarming me all over again. Sometimes beekeeping's fun, other times, eh, not so much. removing that with gloves on. Impossible.